Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm just coming to you today with a little quick little uh, snack that I make for the girls. Um, I usually make it for breakfast, but you can make it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, it's a, just a little dessert, but you know, it's made out of cinnamon rolls. So sometimes I make it in the morning for the girls for breakfast. All right, let me show you what I have. I have some Publix walnuts. You know, they're all crunched up. Well, not really crunched up. I'm going to I'm going to make them small. I'm going to crunch them up and make them smaller. But they're like little um walnut halves or whatever. Um I have some Pillsbury flaky cinnamon rolls, the cinnamon bun. I have this one, which is the butter cream icing. Yummy. And I have the cinnamon rolls. Um, the original cinnamon rolls So I have those and I have Publix chocolate flavored syrup So you guys will see what I do with all that um, So let me go ahead I just want to show you guys what the ingredients was and like I said, this is something I made up for the girls a little treat I created um, So you guys will see what I do. I call it my cinnamon bun cake That's what I call it guys cinnamon bun cake. You guys will see why all right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've taken all the cinnamon rolls out of their uh, package, and I'm getting ready to lay them in my pan. Of course, I've already sprayed my pan so that nothing sticks, really. This is a non-stick pan. Let me show you guys. This is my Copper Chef Bake and Crisp Pan. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. I know you guys have seen, these, uh, seen this guy on TV. So... This is my little, my little thing on my bob. I cook brownies. I cook all kind of stuff in it. So, it's a nice little five-piece set. Copper Chef baked crisp pan. I cook a lot of stuff in this, guys. It's really good. So, especially when I do my little baking. So I've got that. I'll show you guys how I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the pan. Let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Yeah, that's good. All right. And I've got two different types of cinnamon rolls. I do that on purpose because I like it like that. Two different types of cinnamon rolls so I kind of put one kind around the edges around the edges like that I put one kind like that around the edges and then I go ahead and I get this other cinnamon cinnamon roll and I put it in the middle. You guys will see. Kind of makes like a cake. Squeeze them all in here. I'll put some over here in between these guys. Let me make sure you guys can see. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you guys can see. A little bit more. All right. Get these all stuffed in here. So what I'm doing, I got enough, perfect, I got enough room for this guy over here. Let's push him over. Okay, you guys see, I've got them all in here. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the oven. Let me take you guys down. See, I've got them panned up. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the oven um, at 400 degrees, and I'll put them in there for about 12 minutes. I'll show you guys when I come back. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to throw the nuts across the top. I'll be back, guys. Sorry. Okay, guys. I am back. I just took my Cinnabon cake out of the oven. Uh, like I said, 400 degrees in about 15 minutes. I had to cook it for a few more extra minutes. So, 425 degrees. I'm sorry. 400 degrees for 15 minutes and as you can see it's just a big Cinnabon cake and I did put the nuts across the Cinnabons before I put them in the oven and I just kind of smashed them down in the cinnamon rolls so the you know they can when it cooks it sticks in there so that's what it's looking like guys I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see looks amazing smells sweet and amazing now let's go ahead and get our icing on you know the icing that actually comes with the cinnamon roll so just, we're gonna just go ahead and we just gonna pull that all across like that. Every way you want to do it. It's all gonna melt all over the place anyway. 
Yummy. All of that. We gotta get all of our icing, guys. All of our icing. Okay. And let's go ahead. We gotta do the other one. The other icing that came with the other packet. This is like a buttercream. So see, we get two different flavors. Two different flavors. And you gotta do this fresh when it's out of the oven. You know, they're nice and warm. Look at that. That looks amazing. And it is amazing. You guys see it. Look at that. Tell me that's not amazing. All right. Last but not least, a chocolate shirt. Sometimes I throw chocolate chips on top. You can do that too, chocolate chips. But today, we won't. Today, we do chocolate shirt today. Look at that, guys. That's chocolate syrup. You can do chocolate chips. I do chocolate chips sometimes. But today, I do chocolate syrup. I like doing chocolate syrup as well. So, as you can see, our Cinnabon cake. Let me zoom you guys out. Give you a nice good look at it. Zoom you guys in to see. Look at all that goodness. Look at all that goodness. Amazing. Mm -mm, taking y'all in. Look, oh, those cinnamon rolls look so good. All that chocolate syrup and icing. Mm. Oh, looks amazing, guys. All right, you guys saw it. That is my cinnamon bun cake. That's how you make it. A bunch of cinnamon buns. You put them in the cake pan together, and you just bake them. Throw some nuts across the top, and if you don't like nuts, just throw the cinnamon rolls in the oven, and they all mend together, make a nice big cinnamon roll cake for you. Throw the icing on top. Throw a little chocolate, chocolate chips if you want, whatever you want to do. That's how we do it over here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me at Arika Misha on all my social media. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.